My name is Rena Gibbs, I am the principal here at Landau Elementary School, and I wanted to take a few moments to share with you a little bit about standards-based grading. As we transition to this new form of reporting for report cards, I know many of you have questions and want some clarification on what to expect. I have been recording some of the questions that parents have been asking me, and I thought I would take this opportunity to put together a little video that you can refer to to help you better understand standards-based grading. The most common question that I receive from parents is, what is standards-based grading? Well, it's an opportunity to communicate to you how your student or your child is doing as far as mastering the Common Core State Standards at their grade level. In Cypress School District, we have chosen a four-point scale. If your child is earning marks that show that they have mastery of these standards, they will earn a three on their report card. If they are progressing toward those Common Core State Standards, they would earn a two. If they are struggling and not making progress toward those standards, they would earn a one. And if they are consistently demonstrating that they are mastering these standards at a high level, they are able to go deeper with the content on a consistent basis then they would earn a four. Further descriptions can be found on the website for each of these numbers. Another question that I frequently receive from parents is why are we transitioning to standards-based grading? What we found is that it actually communicates a more complete picture of how your child is doing when we use standards-based grading. For example, you'll note on the new report card, we actually break reading into several categories. We have reading foundations, reading informational text, and reading literature. These are very different skills, and so we want to be able to communicate to you how your child is doing in each of these areas. You'll also note that math is broken down into strands, so you can see how your child is doing in algebra and functions, and how they're doing in geometry. There's other strands that will also be recorded. Not all strands will be graded each trimester. If the semester of uh, the trimester has been focusing on geometry and algebra those would be the ones you would see marks in if it has been focusing in other areas you'll note a grade in those areas a question that i also receive is why can't we have letter grades and standards-based grading for the reasons i just communicated we feel that standards-based grading really does give you a complete picture and adding the letter grade into the mix would just confuse the picture how is standards-based grading aligned to Anaheim Union High School District? We are in close communication with Anaheim Union High School District because we know that's where our children feed into. We've had discussions with Lexington and Oxford, and they have dealt with other districts who do use standards-based grading, so this is not new to them. We have been communicating what our expectations are. They understand a three versus a four versus a two, so we do have that open dialogue, and we're very fortunate to have those relationships with the junior highs and the high schools. I know many of you are wondering, how will this impact my child for their opportunity to have admission to Oxford? Oxford is used to standards-based grading. Again, as I've said, other districts do use that type of system. And what they're looking for is a three or a four in all areas, as well as satisfactory in behavior and attendance. If you have any questions about what Oxford is looking for, you can go to their website and it actually does have a link where you can find out more about how they understand standards-based grading. That link is also posted on our website. If you click on Landell's website and you click on the Frequently Asked Questions document, there is a link straight to Oxford Academy and you can get all of your questions answered in that regard. Lexington also looks at the standards-based grading and they do understand that a three means your child is achieving at grade level and is able to master the standards. So there is no communication breakdown with this new form of grading. Uh, a question that 
has been asked multiple occasions, can a child earn a three or a four in the very first trimester? Yes, they can. Because the teacher is teaching two specific standards, what they do is they look and see, has the child demonstrated mastery up to this point? So are they able to interact with the material that's been presented and demonstrate that they are mastering what's been presented? So your child could absolutely receive a three that first trimester if they're demonstrating that they're able to interact with the standards. If they are consistently demonstrating that they are exceeding expectations, they're either working at grade level or they're in, um, interacting at a much deeper level, then they could earn a four that first trimester. Keep in mind though, that in the second trimester as new material is presented, if your child is able to interact at a different level. So perhaps they earned a three that first trimester, but in the second trimester they're struggling a bit with the content, you might see them go from a three to a two. You could also see your child go from a four to a three. Each trimester is graded independently based on the content that's been presented in that trimester. Also keep in mind that these numbers are, are a reflection of how they've done to that point. And it should serve to inform you that we just need to work in that area and you will be partnering with the teachers to understand exactly how you can support your child at home. Um, how is homework factored into the grade? That's a common question. Homework is actually not factored into the content part of the grade. So what we do is we assign homework to help children master content standards and we use that homework to populate our work and study habits section of the report card. But when you're looking at the content portion where we say, has the child mastered the concept? That is based on in-class work, how they do on assessments, both formative and summative. So when you're thinking about the homework, View it as an opportunity for your child to practice the standard so that they can demonstrate mastery in the classroom. Also view it as an opportunity for your child to have high marks in work and study habits. Is reading counts part of the content grade? Many of you did attend that reading counts evening that we presented to parents and you learned how the reading counts program actually does help to increase Lexile levels. Reading counts is part of the content grade as it's measured with the standard. For example, standard 10 under reading for informational text and literature talks about interacting with text at their grade level. Reading counts does allow us to determine if your child is interacting with text at or above their grade level. The scholastic reading inventory is another form of measurement that we use to determine if your child is interacting with text that's below, at, or above grade level. So it's an excellent tool for us to use to monitor achievement levels. Is there a spelling grade on this new report card? No, there is not. It is actually embedded in language standard number two. So you will see how your child is doing based on their language grades, but there will no longer be a separate spelling grade on the report card. We have found that spelling, um, studying for spelling tests is great for short-term memory, but it's not being applied in their daily work, and so it is now actually part of the expectation that they are applying it in their daily work through the language standards. Will my child have a grade in each area each trimester? So parents are wanting to know, should I expect every single box to be filled in? No, you should not. Most areas will be filled in, but for math, you're going to find that some strands are not taught during each trimester and so you would see a blank for math in some sections. You would also see that possibly there may be some blanks for writing. At least one domain will be covered each trimester but you would not see it populated with each trimester each domain. Once a domain is populated though you would see that carry through for the entire report card so if there's a grade in the first trimester you would see a grade in the second and third trimester because we would continue to work on those skills that, have, evolved, that have already been taught. How is my child with an IEP graded? Your child who has an IEP, which is an individualized education plan, would be graded on their progress toward 
grade level standards. So if they're progressing toward the standards, they would receive a two. If they're meeting standards, they would receive a three. They would also be receiving a grade as they uh, move toward mastering their IEP goals. So you would get your normal report card, but you would also get your normal um, progress report for the IEP. The same holds true for students that are classified as English language learners. Those students would receive grades based on their progress toward the grade level standards in the content areas. The difference being there's also um, an English language proficiency section. When you look at the English language development, we do have four areas that show their progress toward becoming proficient with the English language. These four areas are reading, writing, listening, and speaking. So you will be able to see how your child is doing in regard to mastering the English language. Another question I receive is, will my child get a progress report? Your child will absolutely receive a progress report from their teacher. We want to keep in close communication with you because we want to partner with you to help your child be the best they can be. This, re this progress report will look different than it has in the past because it will be standards based, but it will still give you a complete picture of how your child is doing here at Landau. I hope that this video has given you some insight into standards based grading and how it will be utilized here at Landau. If you have a question that was not answered, please feel free to email me. I look forward to answering any questions that you might have, and I look forward to a very productive year here at Landell as we team together to make this the best possible year for your child. Thank you.